tagging your videos, optimizing your videos, ranking your videos, search engine optimization, the YouTube algorithm. What do these all mean? And what do you really have to know when it comes to building your YouTube channel? Hey everyone, Heather here, your YouTube coach. And in today's video, I'm gonna break down the basics of how the YouTube search engine works. Personally, I believe that the algorithm does a pretty good job of having to go through all of the content that's constantly being uploaded to YouTube and being able to decipher and, and analyze like this content is most relevant to these people, especially considering the volume of content that YouTube is having to deal with. But I also understand how frustrating it could be when you put your heart and soul into creating your content and it gets 10 views, five of which are just you putting on your end screen and checking if everything's okay. So there's that temptation to think like, you know, am I doing something wrong? Is there something else that I can be doing to make sure that my content gets more views and subscribers? There's definitely ways that you can kind of like growth hack and game the system, but as your YouTube coach, I strongly advise against doing any of that stuff because as soon as you start manipulating the system, all you're doing is priming your channel to attract the people who are not in your target audience. Your content is not meant for everyone. So if the wrong people see it, or if they're convinced that they're supposed to see this thing, but because you created a clickbaity title, they're seeing something else, it's totally gonna backfire on you. You're gonna get a dislike, they're gonna leave a negative comment, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna troll like trolls do. And that's not something you wanna deal with. So as your YouTube coach, my, my best hope for your channel is that you organically grow a community of people that are fans of you as a creator and, and of your content as soon as they subscribe to your channel. So in this video, breaking down three fundamentals that you need to know as a creator, we can totally go on and on and on. I mean, people do go on and on. I'm sure you can you could look up the YouTube experts. I'm gonna boil down all of the optimization, ranking techniques and tactics and all of that to three fundamentals that every creator needs to know. Let's get started. First, this might seem obvious, but YouTube is a search engine. And it's so important to understand the search engine foundation of how this platform works versus something else that you might be more familiar with, which is something like Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn. The way that Facebook is gonna determine whether you see this ad or that ad or this video from this page or, or not is going to be based on your connections, right? Because people tend to be connected with like-minded people. So if you have 500 connections on Facebook, and most of your connections also like this brand, then you're probably more likely to see content from that brand, even though you're not already following them. The people that you're connected with serve as the signals to the Facebook algorithm, telling Facebook that you as a user are probably more likely to consume this piece of content. Let's take it to the search engine, YouTube. It, it works, not the opposite, but I guess so, like it doesn't work like this because there's no there's no networking aspect on YouTube. You're not connected with your friends. There's no social networking happening. It's completely determined based on user behavior of what you've already watched and what you're searching for, the new content that you're looking for. Your history shows that you have a tendency to like videos about cameras then a lot of the suggested videos that you see, a lot of the videos that you're gonna see on your homepage, even though you're not subscribed to these channels, are going to be about cameras. Now, if there's no social networking happening on YouTube, what serves as the signals to let YouTube know that this video and, and this content is relevant to that keyword? How does YouTube know that? Well, it's mainly based on metadata. What is metadata? Metadata is any kind of text that's on your videos or on your channel that the YouTube search engine can kind of like spider crawl and inspect to recognize these keyword words or phrases and connect it to what people are searching for. Metadata could be your title, your video tags, your video description, the file name, the raw file name of the video that you actually drag into YouTube to upload. That is also searchable or crawlable, even, even the captions that you upload. Anywhere where there's text that YouTube can kind of scan is fair game to serve as a signal to let YouTube know that this piece of content is related to these topics, these keywords. I'll do a whole separate video on how to effectively tag your videos, but this is why when you're using tags on your videos, it is important to lean more towards long tail keywords or keywords that are more refined because they're they're longer, they're just more specific. So instead of just like, 
dogs, right? Which is just one word. There's probably millions, billions of videos associated with the word dogs. And like, what about dogs? Are we talking about what to feed dogs or how to train dogs or dogs just playing around or puppies? It's so broad and we wanna go more narrow. That helps YouTube recognize what our video is about and who to serve it to when they're searching for whatever keyword. So something specific could be like, what to feed a golden retriever puppy. Right, like that's so specific. But I know for sure, if I had a golden retriever puppy, I would probably search that. And I would be frustrated if all I saw was just like dog content, like generic dog content, right? Like I, I want to find the thing that I'm searching for, which is why you wanna be as specific as possible when you're not only tagging your videos and, and putting in all the metadata, but also when you're creating the content. All right, moving on. The second fundamental about the YouTube search engine is that Watch time drives everything. People like to focus on views, people like to focus on subscribers, but honestly, these truly are vanity metrics because you can have like a thousand subscribers, but that doesn't mean that you're gonna get a thousand views on every video. I'm even subscribed to like over a hundred channels. Me being able to watch all of the content that all 100 plus channels upload is like impossible. Not to even mention, all of the other content that I'm exploring. And then views, right? You could have a five second view, it still counts as one view, but if someone just clicked out after five seconds, like that's not a good quality view. The most telling metric, I believe, and the one that YouTube emphasizes is watch time. The actual number of minutes that people spend watching one of your videos or watching your content. I definitely think that higher watch time reinforces or kind of gives more weight to the tags that you attach to your videos. So going back to the golden retriever example, if if your video was tagged how to feed a golden retriever puppy, but people didn't watch more than 10 seconds of that video, I think it, it doesn't get as promoted as a video where more people watch it for longer. So the number of minutes spent watching this video versus that video is really what's gonna determine the, the long-term promotion of the algorithm getting that video in front of people's faces. Because that's the thing, like there are plenty, plenty of people who have started on YouTube even in 2019, knew nothing about how to tag their videos and just blew up. Because at the end of the day, it's about watch time. If people really like this content, of course, like YouTube is gonna promote that content to more people. So I think what it comes down to is if you make good content, which can be argued till kingdom come, like what is good content? But again, your content isn't going to be relevant to everyone on earth. You're just trying to really move the needle, really make an impact for a specific audience because those are the ones that are really going to carry your channel, give you feedback, build your community. I mean, th those are your fans right there, right? That's what you want. On the other hand, you can do all of these growth hacks. You can do all of these things to kind of game the system. But if no one sticks around because either your videos suck or it's not relevant or, you know, whatever, then nothing is going to work. None of those none of those tactics are going to work because your video isn't generating watch time. Which leads me to the last point, number three, click-through rate determines watch time. So you can make good content, right? Like say you're Steven Spielberg and you have like amazing directing, editing, unlimited budget, resources, whatever. You're just this amazing piece of content. But if no one clicks on it, no one sees it, no one's gonna watch it, you get no watch time and the whole thing just is a bust. <laughs> this is where I think it can be the most frustrating because the fun part about YouTube, in my opinion, is making the videos. And you know, I, I even find it frustrating myself where I, I have my video ready, as I'm so ready to like push upload, but I have to spend, you know, 30 minutes to an hour making the best thumbnail that I can. Otherwise people just don't click on it, which is fair. I mean, it's the truth, right? Even in advertising, branding, marketing, there are whole dedicated research teams and feedback groups to see what thing people respond to the best, whether it's a product or a layout in a store or a magazine cover, or in our case, a thumbnail photo. And this is where you you can also have that temptation to be clickbaity, right? Like you, you wanna create some like super overly sensational, salacious thumbnail to get people to click, but 
again, this is where it can really backfire, where if you if you bait people and it ends up not being relevant to whatever it was that they were expecting to see, all that results in is super low watch time. YouTube recognizes that and you're just gonna get downplayed in the algorithm instead of instead of promoted. Because there's just so much content, you, you can be as effective with your tags as possible. You can create the best content that you have the ability to create, but if you don't have an awesome thumbnail and title to go with it, then then no one's gonna click on your video. Like even, even when people are subscribed, I think the best thing to do, honestly, is to come up with like an option A and an option B. Show it to someone in your target audience, get like get feedback on it, and then go with the one that people actually respond to. I think there's a way to do it where you're still being authentic you know, it, it's true to the content that's in the video, but putting that, you know, marketing spin on it of like, okay, if you don't peak interest, no one's gonna click. Like that's just straight up fact. All right, so like I said, we can go on and on and on about each one of these points, but I think that the YouTube search engine really boils down to these three fundamentals. And I think especially if you're still kind of in, in the growth mode or the building mode of your YouTube channel, so you, you're still trying to get like your first 100, 500 subscribers, I think that just having a basic understanding of these fundamentals does give your content the best chance on YouTube, but you also still have so much room to grow as a creator. You, you still have like, you know, so much content that you can create. Uh, you can improve on your skill set in terms of like creating better thumbnails or creating better content, video editing, even experimenting with different formats and deliveries and stuff like that. Now, in addition to tags on YouTube, you could also use hashtags as a way to signal to the YouTube algorithm that your content is most relevant to this topic. If you don't know how to use hashtags on YouTube, check out this tutorial here where I break it down for you. Catch you guys later. Bye.